Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this beautiful look. Simple color, um, well simple look with a pop of color. And I used the Morphe and James Charles mini palette again. Um, it's becoming one of my favorite palettes. Um, but yeah, if you guys wanna see how I came out with this look, then just keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna start out with the Photo Focus Concealer by Wet n Wild. It's this one in the shade Light Ivory. Anywho, so I'm gonna use this for the eyeshadow base. We're probably gonna take this color right here. It's a pretty color. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Um, blending brush by Wet n Wild. And dab it on there. And I'm going to just pat it on the lid. Like this. Just gonna kind of pat it on there. Just on the lid. A little bit like this. And then I'm going to take this lighter color up here. It's a tan color. I'm going to take that color and grab a little bit on my brush and blend out the edges with that. Always wipe off your brush first. Okay, so I'm going to grab a little bit of this tan color here just so we can blend out the edges of that color. Light pressure, just blending it. like that and for now we're done with that so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and I'll be right back all right so I went ahead and did my mascara and lashes I'll go ahead and put the name of them right here on the screen um, next I'm going to do my foundation so for my primer I'm going to use this one by elf it's the jelly pop dew primer and if you haven't heard me talk about this before it looks like this it's got like a sticky texture and I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose and right here on my cheeks. Um, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Golden Beige Foundation and I'm almost out because this is my favorite. I've used this in so many videos but it's just, I don't know what it is about it, it just gives me the perfect um, finish on my skin. I definitely want to try the new one, but in the dewy formula. So if anybody's tried that one, let me know because I really want to try it out. So just for a little extra coverage under my eye, I am going to use the same concealer that I used for my eyeshadow base under my eye. It's Again, it's a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. And if I remember correctly, this, this color kind of did give me like a, a gray tone, but I'm just going to go ahead and try it. I mean, it gave me that tone on like as a eyeshadow base, so I haven't used it under my eyes yet. This is my first time and it is pretty light. I take a little bit of foundation and put it under since that since that concealer was pretty light and just blend it all in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go in on my eyebrows now with the LA Colors um, brow pencil and it's in the color dark brown. Fill in my brows with this. <clears throat>
What I'm gonna do now is use my Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the shade Sun Bronze. And it's in this bag. Which is kind of embarrassing, but still does the same thing. And I'm a cheapskate and I don't wanna throw it away because there's still a lot of bronzer in there. It's just broken. The My Beauty Spot Clarify Cucumber Vitamin A Plus Witch Hazel Spray. And this says hydrating face mist, hydrate, revive, and refresh, sulfate free, paraben free, and makeup friendly. So I've used this a lot of times too. I got this at Ross. I believe it was maybe like $3.99. So anyways, I'm just going to cover my eyelashes and spray my face. And then just wait till this semi dries like always. <clears throat> just gonna dab a little bit right here. Handy dandy wet and wild uh, mega glow highlighting powder in precious petals. Seen this before. With my real techniques brush. I'm just gonna a little bit on my nose. And down the center of my nose with the tip. And what I like to do with my highlighter is kind of bring it right here in that little crease of my eye and blend it outwards. Gives it a really pretty glow right there. It's a pretty, gives your eyes a little something something, you know. I'm just going to take my eyeshadow brush and kind of blend this out a little bit. And again, I just, I use natural lighting, so first of all, the light's kind of yellow today, so don't mind that. And then it kind of, uh, the shadows and lighting kind of like makes the eyeshadow look different, but it's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and take my small brush. This is a small Borfi brush, I don't know what it's called. But I'm going to take this purple Shimmery color also in the James Charles and Morphe palette right here. And we're gonna give this look a pop of color. So if you want, you can leave the look with this eyeshadow just like this. I'm gonna add, like I said, the pop of color in that shimmery purple color right there. I'm gonna drag it in a little bit. You do have to be careful with this color because it is pretty glittery. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna spray a little bit of my spray on my hand and put the brush there. Just get the brush a little wet and just go in again. For today's lipstick, I'm gonna use a color that I think will be perfect with this look. It's the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Vanity. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed how this look turned out. Like I said, um, it, it is with a pop of color, so it's perfect for spring or anything coming up, really. Um, if you're not into the pop of color, you didn't have to add the inner corner color like I did. Um, but I think if you're um, kind of scared of doing that, you should try to go out of your comfort zone a little bit and just try it out. You know, you never know, you might like it. But anyway, thank you for watching my video. Um, don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.